Understanding obedience is a very important concept for both a parent and a child. Obedience teaches children so many things. In fact, I would suggest that God has hidden within obedience the secret ingredients children need to be successful in life. For example, they learn how to give up their own agenda. They learn how to do things they'd rather not do. They learn how to have a good attitude, even when doing things that they're uncomfortable with. Children learn all kinds of things with obedience, and they uh, they need to develop that quality in their lives. I'm convinced that's why God gave instructions to children in Colossians 3.20. Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. When we teach children how to do the right thing by obeying, then we're equipping them with a number of gifts in their life. Children, when they learn how to obey, learn to come when called, for example, or they do a task, they learn to do that in a way that fosters this internal responsibility and responsiveness to authority. All of these things are very good. Now, some parents will say, well, I, I like it that my child argues with me. I want him to question authority. And I think questioning authority is fine, but it's an advanced skill. There's some children who can't do a simple task without arguing. Uh, other advanced skills are, are skills like this. Uh, I have to evaluate my priorities and see if this is something that can fit into my schedule. I have to evaluate whether this is ethical to see if this is something I can do. Those are great things, but they're advanced skills. Children first need to learn how to obey because God wants this internal character to grow inside of a person that teaches them responsiveness. Now, sometimes when I'm teaching uh, families about obedience. They've used the word obedience. It's kind of worn out or even has negative connotations. So we changed the word to cooperation. But the principle is the same, no matter what word you put on it. Because when children understand obedience or they understand cooperation, they understand how to work together. They understand how to give up their agenda. In some homes, it seems like the children are the ones leading the family. And I think there's got to be a time when children are said, this is what we're going to do. You need to follow these instructions. And in fact, I think practicing is often the best way to do this. The heart contains these tendencies. And sometimes children have a tendency to react or have a bad attitude or complain or be disrespectful. And they need to learn how to have a pattern of responsiveness to their parents. They need to learn how to obey and do the right thing. And the best way to do that isn't through correction. The best way to do that is through training. So sometimes we encourage parents, here's what I suggest you do. Call your child 20 times a day. In addition to the normal stuff you do, call, them, call your child 20 times a day. And by just saying the child's name, don't even tell them you're calling them. Just they need to learn that when their name is called, they need to pay attention and come. You see, we're developing something inside called obligation. And obligation is foundational to responsibility. And a child comes and you might just say to them, hey, I just want to tell you I love you. Or you might say, we're going to eat in a couple of minutes. So you need to go wash your hands and get ready for the meal. Or you might just say, uh, I just wanted to see how you're doing on the obedience side. So what we're doing is we're teaching children obedience and we're practicing. So if you work on the training side, you'll get much further than on the correction side. Correction is something we have to do with kids, but it isn't the best trainer. The best trainer is training. And uh, so that's why we train up a child in the way he should go. It, it becomes part of the aspect of the daily work of parenting. Don't sacrifice obedience by giving children choices or by um, trying to redirect their path or something like that. Those are good ideas. But there's got to be times when children learn how to give up their agenda. They learn how to, how to do what they need to do right away, not put it off not have the wait a minute disease, but follow the instructions of parents right away and do what parents are asking. That is what it means to follow instructions. We can call it cooperation, we can call it obedience, but God has designed obedience to be learned in a child's life when they're young and to grow in that so that they can be more successful as they get older. Because they're not just gonna learn how to obey their parents, they learn how to obey their parents so they can learn how to obey God eventually and maybe even now and follow his instructions.